Hey, what's up people? I'm making a, another update video and this is going to be about uh, of course my PlayStation 5 is broken still as you can see Spider-Man Miles Morales is frozen it's not turning on at all and what I ended up doing was I called up Sony PlayStation's customer support number spoke to a representative told them that it was broken told them all my issues blah 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 then he proceeded to um, offer me uh, a solution, which is basically sending me a box. Uh, he didn't tell me if he was going to give me a replacement or anything like that. He just told me he's going to who's going to send us a box and uh, just to send it, uh, send back my broken PlayStation for repair. So I've heard from other people in the comment section. <clears throat> Some people actually even saw some people online posting on YouTube where they received boxes from PlayStation with like real systems, with real working systems. And Sony basically asked them to send back their old PlayStation. But this is the box I got from Sony PlayStation today. So let's see what's inside. I'm going to show you guys what's inside real quick. To my disappointment, it's empty, which means that I have to ship it back for repair. Now, I don't think I'm going to ship it back yet. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, I'm probably just going to return it to Walmart where I bought it and just get a full refund because... Uh, I don't know, man. It's just... This is just a huge mess. I just don't like the fact that they're sending certain people, or I'm not going to say certain, they're just sending random people out brand new consoles that are fully functional. And here I am like an idiot with a fucking empty box, you know? That, that just annoys me. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm just making this video so you, you guys know in the future how Sony treats their customers you know so here it is it's just an open uh, empty box came with a bunch of documents uh this is just a little form that they sent me important read this first honestly i could just wipe my ass with this this would this this would make really good toilet paper by the way it's nice and soft but uh it just gives you basic instructions important read this first blah 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 you can make blah 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 already did all this safe mode 4k 8k display no one cares uh, speaking of which, I gotta get a new 4K TV today. General issues, don't have that. Is it fixed? If so, please continue to enjoy your PS5. That doesn't apply to me. Uh, if you still must ship, complete this packaging instructions page and include the information slip in your shipment. Do not ship this controllers, cables, and uh, blah, blah, blah. Hand your shipments to a certified FedEx rep only. Do not use drop boxes. Okay, so here's the address you can go to to check the update of your repair. So, Alright, so let's see. Next page, nothing here. And here's just another document they sent me. It tells you clearly if you don't know how to read. It shows you pictures of not things that you shouldn't be sending. Place console into supply bag, which is, I guess, what this is. Pack the console in supplied shipping box. Okay. Uh, remove the top label. Terms and conditions. PS5 repair information slip. So I gotta fill that out. But, like I said, I don't know yet if I'm going to do this because I feel like it's just easier to just return this to my local retailer and just get my money back and just, you know, wait for another drop, I guess, just like everybody else. But, you know, that's going to be impossible because all the bots have basically ruined the entire market. It's almost virtually impossible to get a new PlayStation these days. Uh, let me see here. So I, I've seen a couple of posts on Reddit where people said that their Sony logo was crooked and was off by a couple of inches and whatnot. 
uh, doesn't seem like it's off for me, but yeah, so this quick little update for you people. <clears throat> this is the box that you sent me once again. Um, I'll let you know what, what I'm going to do next. Like I said, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to send it in for repair or if I'm just going to return it to Walmart. I still have plenty of days left to return this. But uh, let me just show you the box they sent me originally, Walmart. This is the box that Walmart sent me. So, I don't know if it was Walmart or if it was Sony. This is the dumbass people. This is how stupid people are. They send you a box that says PS5 on it. You're just asking for it to be stolen. This is how it was shipped. It literally says, steal me now. Please, steal me now, today. I will give you permission to steal me now. That's literally what this box says. So, if you're ordering online, I'm just warning you guys. All these retailers ship them probably in this type of box. It says PS5 on it. So, uh, this is a big mess, like I said. Anyways, uh, I'll keep you posted. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, uh, everyone who's supported me so far in the comment section, hitting the like button, and all the new subscribers. I will keep you guys posted, like I said. You guys get one of these boxes. I feel sorry for you. Uh, anybody else who got a new system in the box, congratulations. Consider yourself lucky. Uh, just enjoy it. Well, you can, man, because these these bad boys are virtually impossible to get. So, take care. Have a nice day.